who is going to be next at Washington. You start by, I, I assume, trying to keep the mojo going with offensive coordinator Ryan Grubb, and your competition would be potentially an offer for Ryan Grubb to go be the Alabama uh, offensive coordinator under Kalen DeBoer to keep that as a package deal. Mm -hmm. That's an obvious one, right? Mm -hmm. So who else, if not? Well, first, I just want to, like, what a whiplash of a week for a Washington fan. Oh, oh my God. Five days ago, you're playing for a national title. Now, your coach has gone to Alabama. Penix, Adunze, McMillan, Polk, Fatanu, Dylan Johnson are all off to the NFL within before the week even ends. So it's like it feels like that game was a year ago already. If you're a Washington fan, you've just completely gone around. But I do think that this is still going to be a very attractive job because proof of concept, you can compete for a national title here. Like we literally just saw it. So you combine that. You combine it with now being a Big Ten school and the resources that will go into being a Big Ten school. I mean, it's they're going to have a pretty impressive candidate or pool of candidates to go from. Maybe not the same pool of candidates Alabama gets, but still a very impressive one. I think Grubb would be a likely target. I think Jet Fish will be a likely target. I think Pete Carroll. No, um, I think you know Urban Meyer. No, uh, no. Urban Meyer. Urban Meyer. I, I think there's a lot of like good coaching possibilities. And I think you kind of have to look like outside the big 10 and the sec. So like I mentioned, Jed fish, you go to the big 12, you go to the ACC, you go to these other schools that maybe won't have the same kind of, you know, resources. So I, I would say Jed fish is the favorite. I would also say just complete no, no information here. Just something to consider. Chris Peterson. Come on home. Maybe he's ready to get back in. I don't know. I could see it. What does Jed Fish make in Arizona? Probably three, I would guess. I have no idea. That's just a blank. three and a half. Yeah, and okay. uh, it was reported that Washington offered eight and eight eight point yeah. four yeah. to the four. Didn't Arizona just lose their defensive coordinator to Texas? You got mm -hmm. it. I, I mean. He's a guy who's won. They lost a lot of their best players last year to the portal, and he found some underrated guys in the portal and won again this year and had a really nice year. Um, that would piss off a lot of Florida fans. I think that's who they have circled at after they get rid of Napier. No, you don't get to call dibs. No college football fan base gets to call dibs a year out. You want somebody, hey you fire your coach and you go get him. All right? I'm in this state. I'm in the group chats. They're like, hey, if we can get rid of Napier, do you think we can get fish? I'm like, yeah, of course I do. The rules of the coaching carousel say you cannot call dibs. Go <laughs> hire his ass. No, I, 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 he would be. A, I think he would be in, in a really, really good hire. Um, isn't Grub going to get NFL interest as well? Probably. I, I thought I had read that. Like the NFL teams mm -hmm. have a lot of respect for what he does. So, speaking, I, you just mentioned Florida. Anybody know of a coach who might be a good offensive in-game coach who's not the ultimate recruiter? Because that's the kind of coach Kalen DeBoer was, and he just had a lot of success at Washington. And there's a pretty big-name coach out there who hasn't had a job in a while who used to coach at Florida who kind of fits that profile. So Kalen DeBoer uh, coached in Michigan quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I know another guy that coached in, in a Great Lakes state who just has a reputation for winning everywhere he goes and just understands how to coach ball. And he's not in the power two conference. His name's Lance Leipold. Mm -hmm. I know the, the, I know who, who hired DeVore is not the same person who's making the hire now for Washington, but it, if you want to just go get somebody who just kind of understands the winning part, that, that would make a lot of sense. So, and that also, I think, um, you know, Joel Klatt, Fox Sports, he's a big fan of the Cover 3 podcast. Um, he pointed out on FS1 the, that whole AD thing at Washington had to play a role. Like, if you are DeBoer and the athletic director who is now in charge was not the one who hired you, the one who hired you is now at USC, that, I don't, I, I'm sure the relationship was professional. I assume so. DeBoer's a great manager of people as a good people building type uh, personality. But 
he had to look at that and say, all right, well, maybe one day if things start, you know, if we hit the ground in the Big Ten, things get a little rocky, get dicey for me. So not not as strong a ties potentially as you uh, you would have had otherwise. Dennis Rodman in the chat saying a name Thamel dropped was Matt Campbell. So we're back on that. Oh, Matt Campbell's back. Yeah. Congrats, Matt. Is SEO <laughs> back too? <laughs> Um, how about, <clears throat> how about this one? Uh, the blue chicken is Oregon, the biggest winner. I think Oregon's loses. a very big winner. Yeah. Yes. Loses yes. Four, and you hold on to Dan Lanning. Yes. You got Evan Stewart. You got a guy who's an absolute pain in the ass to coach against in DeBoer out the paint and you keep your coach. Yeah. All right. So the job. Washington job is open. Is Washington a better job than Michigan state? No, it's on the same par. I think it's slightly better, actually. But um, I, I, I think Tom's right that they are occupying the same tier. Mm -hmm. Both have been to the playoff. We're probably nitpicking it. Yeah. <laughs> um, they're, they're similar jobs, I would say. So Jonathan Smith is not just going to bounce Michigan State after no. uh, a, brief, a brief tenure and go take the Washington job. Not unless he really just loves the, lo loves the West Coast. Yeah. That would be hilarious, though. Florida State's a big winner out of this whole scenario. Yeah. Right? I would agree with that. Um, would you be happy with Matt Campbell, bud? If I'm Washington? Mm hmm I think Matt Campbell does a hell of a job, man. You know, I. yeah, probably. Um, I've been playing with this, by the way. After coaching his first 10 games at a school... DeBoer is 80 and three. <laughs> How sick. I just, yeah, I was, I was, I was like this. <clears throat> I was wondering what the butt bot was doing over there. That's yeah, great. Sorry. I'm, I'm, sorry. No, that's a great note. So, okay. So after the first 10 games at all three of his stops, which would be Sioux Falls, Fresno state and um, Sioux Falls, Fresno state and Washington. So you're saying after the first 10 games, he is 80 and three the rest of the way. Correct. Mm -hmm. Pretty nuts, man. That's crazy. I the guy can coach ball. He's really, really good at it. Um, any other lingering thoughts before we uh before we get out of here? Is there somebody we're missing that is gonna just be really obvious for this job? Uh run run, run through the big twelve. Dion. Um Washington team meeting called for an hour from now. Pete Thamel sources. Kalen DeBoer has informed Washington officials he's taking the job at Alabama. Yeah. Woo! What about well, climbing? Thanks. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Can we celebrate that this one actually is official? We don't have to sweat this falling apart right now. It I would mean, be Frank, hilarious. Fr Frank, no. It would be our own. It would be hilarious. <laughs> Frank, Frank Beamer was once committed to be a head coach at University of North Carolina, but, you know, they didn't dot, they didn't dot all the I's and cross all those T's. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like we've at least gotten it home here. I think climbing would make sense. I think Kansas State, yep. I mean, pretty much, yeah. Like any any Big Twelve or ACC coach who's good, I think, is somebody that would make sense because if you're looking to get out and get into one of those jobs, this is one of those jobs. Is there anybody G five who has like West Coast connections? I'm trying to think. I mean, uh, right now your your coaches at the Mountain West Powers are Jeff Tedford. Uh, Spencer Danielson, who just got the job. Yep. Um, hey, last time Washington hired a former Troy Calhoun. State coach, they got to the college football playoffs. So maybe they go the Brian Harson route. Jamie Chadwell? Almost all of his experience is in the Southeast. Southeast. Like entirely, actually. That'd be a weird cultural fit, I think. Uh, Agree. Yeah. Um, you call it more? What? Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Tom. I was going to say Sharon Moore. If Jim comes Sharon back. Sharon Moore is probably also a winner in this, by the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like DeBoer was the one candidate who I think we thought if you were going to go with a non-Moore guy, it would be him. And now he's off the board. Yep. Well, well I love again, Dave Doran. I think Dave Doran would be a really good hire for Washington. Chat says Winningham. I don't think he would. I don't think he's leaving Utah. I don't yeah. think he'll either. I agree. 
I will. We will continue to uh, provide coverage of this here on the Cover Three podcast again. Kalen DeBoer will be the next head coach at Alabama. He is the successor to Nick Saban. Washington's got an open coaching job. Steve Sarkeesian, Mike Norvell, you got a payday. It's a it's a landscape shifting week here in college football. We appreciate everybody who's rocked us with us the entire way. Any final words? I know. Three get, on, get on that transfer portal. and It's like if you're Isaiah Bond and you jumped in the portal today, I know he's interested in Texas, our, our uh, Bama 247 <laughs> reported. Do you, do you take another look at, at the school you're currently at? Because DeVore's had some success with receivers if uh, <laughs> recent history is any indication. That's a really good idea. We'll